All right, once again, uh, this is a new era uh, where we're going to try to enter everything electronically and not use any paper. So I'm going to show you how to create a electronic version of the paper charge slip that you do at the end of every visit. In this case, it's going to be for a well check, a well child checkup. Now realize that to, in order to do this, uh, to take advantage of the computer's power so that you don't have to do as much work, um, the visit needs to be entered in on the practice manager side and so I've gone and entered two make-believe patients, one for a well visit, one for a, a sick visit, and I'll show you in another visit how to do a sick visit. So you can't do this for a telephone triage unless you put them into the schedule. It doesn't work. You can't create a, an electronic charge slip only if it, they're on the schedule and, and then for that day, basically. So let me first show you my schedule. I'm going to pull up... Again, I'm not going to show you patient information, so wait till I pull up. I'm going to pull up test sibling, and then I'll show you that information here. So I'm just pulling up test sibling, and I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to create a note. So see, I put a well visit here for today, and I'm going to create a note right click uh, let's see oops right click I gotta go quick let's see I want to link add new link oh stop that add link and I want to add a patient note so I'm gonna add a well visit note it automatically knows I'm trying to add a well visit note because I wrote that in the template so it's automatic so here is my well visit note. So let me take you quickly through a well visit. Of course, this is a well visit, and we got to fill in all the standard boxes. So let's say they're brought in by their father, and this kid is how old? 14 months uh, female, and uh, we got to put some values in here. So let's say has a 100 degree temperature and weighs. I don't care, 300 pounds, and is, has no height, and has uh, blood pressure, you know, you can put in all that, those values, these standard things, put in your standard things, come over here, let's say we did some labs, so let's say we did a vision screen, I'm not going to put the values in, I'm just checking off that we did it, okay, just to show you some of the, the cool charges we can pull in. Let's say we did a hearing. Okay, I can check off that. And again, I'm not going to put the details in because we don't really care about the details. I'm just showing you the functionality. And let's say we did a urine. So I check off these little boxes. Each of these boxes are linked to codes, procedure codes. And we get paid for these procedure codes. And these are the areas where we lose money when they're not documented. And the other thing is, is that people will take the easy path and they fail to fill stuff out and they underbill because of that because they're running out of time because you're having to document in so many different places. So I'm not going to put anything here. Milestones. Let's see. Um, anticipatory guidance. There's nothing there. So physical exam. Nothing really there, so I'm not going to bother with that. Okay, and so now I'm going to come down over here, and I'm going to put some put some diagnoses. I'm going to pull stuff from the problem list. So there we are, obesity. So there's a, a diagnosis code. And then let me come down a little bit further. And, yeah, the assessment plan. Let me come down a little further. And... A little bit more. Okay, let's make this. How old is this kid? This kid's 14 months. So we're doing a well visit, and it's an established patient. So let's check off an H and P. So that's another procedure code. And let's say uh, 14 months. Let's say we did um, an M chat. Let's add that one too. Let's make. Oop. Let me mark that again. So we're going to do an M chat. And let's come over here. Go down a little bit further, and let's say we did some vaccines. So, of course, we could fill out the other stuff, whether they're on schedule or not. Those don't get paid, so I don't care about documenting that right now. 
So let me just say we're going to do some vaccines for this kid. Let's do a couple. Let's do um, DTAP. Let's do a HIB. And what do we also do usually at 15 months? Hepatitis A, I think. So let's do that like we'd standard a standard vaccine series we do at this age. Where's the hepatitis A? There it is coming back up. Excuse me again, I'm doing this one-handed. Okay, so now we, and let's also throw in a TB screen. What the heck? TB screen, we did a PPD, and I don't care where we placed it because, again, that's just documentation. This is all make-believe. Come back up again. Assessment and plan. Okay, so that's what we did. So let's say we did a, a note. We got pretty much done with our visit, and normally now we would enter all of that information and repeat it all again, hopefully you remembered it all, onto a paper charge slip. Now, we don't want to do that. So what I've done is I'm going to come up here. you got two options to be able to generate it from, uh, from your documentation in your electronic health record here. You could just save like I'm doing now. I'm hitting save. Let me see how it's saving. I could also just skip that step and just sign it too. But I'm just going to hit save. And once I've hit save, now I have all those pieces of information ready. And I could either just do a charge slip electronically here, brand new, or I could save myself a ton of time and go to add link and go to charge slip prefilled. So it's under this add link tab next between delete and print. Go down to charge slip prefilled. Go ahead and click on it. It's going to create a new box. We'll see what happens here. Here it is. Okay, so now what it's done. Let me go over this. This is the electronic charge slip. This is what our staff does. You're probably not even aware that this is what our staff is doing every day for every piece of paper. They're repeating your work once again to enter in all this information. And then the billers are doing it again to post it so we can actually get paid. So this is what uh, they are doing. We're going to try to save a couple steps here. So you see up here it says appointment tab, ticket, chart, and find. So this is pretty much all you have to pay attention to when everything works well. It imports in from your EHR. And you can see here, here are all the procedure codes on this column. You can see how when I go over it, you get a little save, uh, save button, or you get a delete button, or you can do another search and change the procedure if you want to look it up. Um, I, don't, I don't want to do that. Here's the description of all those. And these are all the diagnosis codes that are linked. They're pulled in from, you know, either this is just the standard well check, and then this is the obesity uh, uh, diagnosis code. So every procedure needs to have a diagnosis code next to it. That's just the way the world works. And I can kind of scroll down here a little bit more. Just to show you, there's quite a few on a well visit. And here's all those things, the hearing, the DTAP, the visual screen. I think I even have, let's see if I can find it. I bet I can find my urinalysis. Let's see, immunizations, TB. There, there's my TB test. Um, visual test, developmental test. That was the MCHAT thing that I did. So look at all those codes I just added. So cool, great, that has everything. Now, if um, I wanted to add things, I could go and look it up just like you would on the paper ticket. It looks just the same if you click on this next tab. I could go and search things and there are all these little boxes just like on the paper tag. You have to scroll down here. And then whatever it is that you did that you wanted to add, you could just click on it. But why do that? Because you've imported everything. If you documented everything completely in your EHR chart, you don't need to do that. And then over here, here's the, the chart. Uh, so this is what it's pulling up. This is was all the things that I documented. I documented HIB, tetanus, blah, 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 blah. These are all the things that I documented basically in my encounter in this visit today. And it lists, it, lists them all here that I imported it in from uh, my encounter. And then this is just a, a fine tab. This is if you want to look stuff up, look up procedure codes or, or diagnosis codes. Again, I don't find that very useful. So I usually import everything in from my EHR note and just pull it in right here and it automatically does it for me. And unless it makes a mistake or I 
documented accidentally something I didn't mean to, I can come in here and erase it, or I can send a message to the billers and ask them, please go ahead and uh, take this away. So what I do is once this has been imported in, all I do is just sign it. And when I sign it, I'll show you what happens. I go to sign it. Of course, it goes to sign, and then it opens up two boxes automatically. One box, it automatically tries to basically take your diagnosis codes and update the problem list for you automatically. So you're, you don't have to do that yourself. It does it automatically. And here it's saying, I want to put this um, code into my problem list. And so I say, fine, good, go ahead and save that. And the other thing it does, let me come over here, you saw right here, it also generates a message box automatically. Now what I usually do is I'm doing these several a day, and so I, I usually have it set up so that I'm sending it to the billers. So I'll put this in here, and I usually, so I'm, unfortunately, excuse me, I'm changing all this. So I'll just put in here, um, testing system I'll put in here and so basically I'll usually send a message to someone sometimes to check out or sometimes to the billers like oh maybe I made a mistake I, I documented in my note or, and put in my charges that I did a hepatitis A and I didn't and I didn't have time to delete it before I signed my note, well, I can send a note to the biller saying, oh, please take that charge off, or please add this charge that I forgot to document, or, or whatever, because you, you, even if you sign something, it, it can still be amended, so don't worry about that. But this is basically how you do it. It saves you a ton of time. So I'll just let, let the billers know that this is, this is just, a, just a joke, not a real, not a real case, okay? So that's um, basically how you do a well visit. The next video will be how you do the same thing for a sick visit. Thank you very much.